What's going on, folks? So Terrell Davis uh, was removed from a plane uh, today, but I want to I read his full statement. Um, so he says, please see my statement regarding the recent humiliating, disturbing, and traumatizing incident in front of our children aboard United. Please contact SGGH Law for any inquiries. All right. So Terrell Davis posted this on his Instagram. He said, I am still in shock over the traumatizing events that occurred Saturday aboard a United flight from Denver to Orange County with my wife, two sons, and daughter. During the beverage service, my son politely requested a cup of ice. The flight attendant either didn't hear or ignored his request and continued past our role. Calmly reached behind me and lightly tapped his arm to get his attention to again ask for a cup of ice for my son his response and events that follow should stun all of us. He shouted, don't hit me, and left the car to hurriedly approach the front of the plane. I was confused as were the passengers in front of me who witnessed the exchange. I thought nothing of it other than this particular employee was incredibly rude and blatantly wrong in his accusations of me hitting him. I did not see or interact with him further for the duration of the flight. As we landed in Orange County, the pilot asked all passengers to remain seated Six FBI and law enforcement agents boarded the plane. The FBI agents and local authorities proceeded directly to my seat and immediately placed me in handcuffs while seated and without any explanation in front of my wife and children while the entire flight of passengers watched in silence. I was then removed from the flight while being recorded by multiple passengers as I was paraded off the plane in handcuffs by the officers. I was and remain humiliated, embarrassed, powerless, and angry. During questioning, it was rightfully determined by the agents that the flight attendant was inaccurate in his accusations and the agents profusely apologized, even offering to support me and my family in any way possible. I have yet to hear anything from United Airlines, the traumatizing experience of my two sons, my daughter, and my wife watching me being placed in handcuffs without due process or any explanation cannot be undone. At this very moment, not even 48 hours later, we as a family are having to have hard conversations with each other about what transpired and answer the many questions that my children have. I refuse to stand by without speaking out on this disgusting display of the injustice and deplorable treatment by United Airlines. My legal team at Stenar Gold Greco and Hensley will be in contact with United Airlines. I demand a thorough and proper investigation into the flight attendant who blatantly lied and placed undue harm on me and my family. These lies and the ensuing events have the capacity to tarnish the reputation I have spent decades building, and this person should not be able to do this again to anyone in the future. Terrell Davis. I want you guys to understand this. No matter if he gets money from this, no matter you know if the guy get fired, right? It ain't gonna change how he felt in that moment. This was racism. His kids had to see it. He had to encounter it, and he's probably had other instances in life, right? And thinking that Terrell Davis, a Super Bowl champion, a father, a husband, done so many things for the community and to see how he was just treated like another, right? And that is the things that a lot of folks that aren't in the black community, they will never understand what we deal with or what we go through. And think about in this situation, everybody saw what happened and what did they do? All those passengers, they were quiet and they didn't say nothing. And that's usually how it happened back in the day it's happening today.